I wanna paint and play music today Cause it give me a joyful feeling And I won't ever wanna feel this way Hello and welcome to the show And happy St. Patrick's Day Today you're looking at me wearing green and I am going to paint in green in honor of St. Patrick's Day and all the people out there that love the color green like me. It's my favorite color to look at. It's probably a big reason why I'm such a nature lover as I love to be surrounded by green. And someday I want to live in a place where I'm just immersed and green pastures, leaves, trees, you name it. I want to be around green. I'm going to paint something on a big piece of paper today. It's Arches paper, but I taped it down to my board. And I thought I would paint something abstract. And I thought you could paint along with me. So you could pause this video and get your palette ready. You'll be needing lots of green. And we'll make lots of green from blues and yellows. And we'll use some pre-existing greens from the tube. It's going to be abstract. So it can come out however you want it to come out. I'm thinking big blotches of shapes. Big blotches of color and shapes that where you look at it, you could say, oh, I see a cow in a field. Or, oh, I see a cat sitting in an armchair licking itself and scratching the arms of the armchair. But I thought it would be cool in the middle of the painting to have a big blotch of green that somehow, somewhat, vaguely looked like the island, the island of Ireland. So, let's get to it. So, you can see my palette. And this is an old brush I'm going to use. And let's get this a little closer. And like I said, we're going to make a lot of green. So I've got some old yellow with, that's drying up. When your paints get old, they, clump, they get clumpy. And I want it to be clumpy because I want this to be earthy. And, you know, that to me is earthy. So the, the island of Ireland has a big ball up here. And then it kind of goes out this way. Something kind of like that. Right? This is just my outline. Now I'm going to go to a big brush. Finish the job. Cover those big areas. I don't want it to look too much like Ireland. I want someone just to say, oh, I see Ireland. Like that. I think I have too much water in my water dish. That's okay though. Okay. Making more green. This time I'm making green out of green. There we 
we are. We're getting. I want to keep this part of the painting pretty wet because I'm going to come back to it and I want some colors to bleed into it. Don't worry about that it's splotch right there. Keep on mixing greens together. Keep on mixing these greens, throw in some of this. If you keep it wet, these colors should be able to unify and separate. Okay, now I know I said, I know I said it was gonna be all green, but now I'm thinking the Irish flag has orange on it. So would it be fun? Would it be fun to have some orange? I think so. Mixing some red and some yellow and some or pre-existing orange. Let me start with this real bright. Orange straight from the tube. Okay, I want to get this green. Some more love. I don't want it to dry out. I'm afraid it'll dry out. Because what I want it to do is blend. See how it's coming together right there? So I got to keep it wet. Now I'm just throwing water on to keep it wet. Okay, back to my orange. There it is. Sometimes when you make a color, you can just throw the two colors that you're mixing together right on the paper like this. Put the yellow down and then put the orange down. I want this color to mix into that like that. This is what I'm going for. Bringing it up in there. Just bringing it in. You gotta use a lot of paint when you do a big painting. One thing we could do is deconstruct green. Like we could do some yellow and some blue. No, I don't want to do that. I want to I want it to be mostly green. But I think a more blue green now. Put a 
little yellow in here. That'll be our little section of deconstructed green. that green I had before but now we're going dark real dark you need a lot of water to cover all this paper it's hard with watercolor to get real bold thick consistent color it's m more of a thing known, more of what acrylics and oils are known for. Watercolors, magical properties are their translucents, their washes. And if you do too much, how about brown? Make a brown over here. If you do too much bold, big thick solid colors you, you lose the essence of watercolor I'm sure you've heard me talk about that before Some, some red to it. Put some, make it look earthy, make it look burnt. dark blue, some indigo on top of that. Alright, I'm going back to my center. If I can encourage even more blending. I need a light green and I'm running out of palette so I'm gonna grab this palette here that I have just hanging out. Mix in, yeah, I want a really light spring light, not like a Kelly green, but like a springtime yellow green. Like 
that. That's what I want. one of those little clumps decided to stick itself in the hairs of the brush and make little lines. That's what you get when you play with old paint. Get those little clumps. Let's make them do more for me. of blue right here is probably fun. <laughs> that was really special. I'm going to do that again but with a different color of blue. Paper is saturated, so I'm just pulling, pulling water all around it, from here to there to everywhere. Even in here, see that? I don't want to work it too much, but. I also want it. I want it to show off all its magical watercolor properties. With watercolor, you have such a unique opportunity to show people what the paint can do. This is what it does best. What if I brought some of that brown into this green? This one. See where that takes us.
All right, well, I'm going to do a song. But I play. I play a song called Ain't Gonna Lose You. You can put a stick in my spokes. I can be the part of your jokes. I can be the laughing star I can be the host But I ain't Gonna lose you No, I ain't Gonna lose you They can come and tear my house down They can run me out They can tie me up and call me a clown But I ain't gonna lose you No, I ain't gonna lose you I can't stand the thought of another man No, I ain't gonna lose you No way Gonna lose you They can make me turn my back on my friends Send me away to San Quentin Put me in the hole electric shock to my brain and I ain't gonna lose you no I ain't gonna lose you I can't stand the thought of another man no I ain't Sing it from my rooftop Sing it from my bus stop I Sing it on the street when I'm drunk To a cop No way Gonna lose you Gonna lose you I ain't gonna lose Ain't gonna lose you gonna lose you, ain't gonna lose you, no, 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 I ain't gonna lose you, baby, you.
I go really crazy at the end of that song but I'm trying to I want this show to be just a calm place for you to come and veg out and paint along or put it on while you're working or doing something else I don't want it to be too exciting I just want it to be relaxing I think there's something to be said for just looking at paint Looking at colors, hearing someone speak moderately softly with long pauses. Let's check back in with this painting. It's drying a little bit, not in here, but it's drying. And I have, well, it's not where I want it to be. But that's the risk you take when you don't really have much of a plan. So I'll switch to a little brush and I'll get darker. Put some lavender in there, keeping it mostly green. I'll see where I can do some of these edges, harden some of these edges. There's a lot of wind outside right now. The wind outside is howling. I think the problem that I'm having with this painting is that there's just too not nothing to really focus on. Big swashes of color like the Helen Frankenthaler, all her great if you don't know her, check her out. She's she's an idol. She's no longer with us, but her paintings the big big splotches of color big color studies kind of like Rothko they're so intriguing because they're massive it's hard to have the same effect when the paintings are small people stand close to them and you gotta draw a big painting you have to start stand back the little paintings you gotta you're close, you gotta draw people in. And take it all in. And I just wish something really cool would happen with this. I don't know how to make that happen. Trying to harden some of these edges against the orange. Not harden, but make the contrast, make more of a contrast. If you know what I'm trying to get at. That's pretty cool. Putting this. These dark outlines make it so that uh, there's some 
detail to hone in on. That's good. I like this. I like where this is going. So far I'm getting more I'm getting more happy about this. I want this area, I'm, I'm wondering if there's something that can be done to break up those brush strokes. I like this a lot. I'm wondering if I just put some water on there. Could pull some paint out. I think it's too boring to look at one color over and over. For too long. I don't want to be bored looking at a painting. Now there's more happening. It's getting more exciting to me. Yep, starting to get a whole lot. Ooh, what's this? Okay, 
More please. Haha. Whoa. I'm tripping myself out looking at this. That is not what I thought it would be, but every, when you paint an abstract, it becomes a journey. And this has certainly been a journey, but some of this is going to dry up and I don't know what it's going to do. So I think I'll just sign it. And thank you for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I was just trying to give you a little mellow calmness before your night of celebration. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.